It's been building for months now, but it's finally official. The Pacific has entered a La Nina event, spelling a wetter than average summer for eastern and northern regions. It's shaping up to be another wet summer. The Bureau of Meteorology has officially declared that a La Nina has developed in the Pacific Ocean, meaning that much like last summer, wetter and cooler than average conditions are expected across eastern, northern and central parts of the country. Dr Andrew Watkins from the Bureau of Meteorology says this year's event may not be as strong as last summer's, but the effects could be just as devastating for many people. We are looking at a fairly weak event and fairly short-lived, but because of the conditions that we've seen over the last couple of months, making the landscape very wet, we are at risk of more widespread flooding than usual. La Nina events typically decrease the chance of large bushfires, but increase the number of tropical cyclones that form in Australian waters. The announcement comes as widespread flooding continues to impact eastern Australia. Roads have already been cut off in the town of Gunnedah in New South Wales, as rivers rise and dams start to spill. And more rain is on the way. Our main concern day is on Thursday, where we're going to see areas of heavy rain across northern parts of Victoria, on and west of the ranges in New South Wales, and much of southern inland Queensland. Over the next four days, widespread falls of 50 to 100 millimetres are expected. Yet another blow for farmers looking to harvest and salvage bumper crops. Now this widespread heavy rainfall is falling on already saturated soils and catchments and dams are already full. So we're likely to see renewed river level rises across numerous rivers. Authorities are urging residents in these areas to stay up to date with the latest weather warnings over the coming days. Remember, if you come across any flooded roads or creeks, you know, turn around, don't drown. Christy Lloyd, Sky News.